Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about using the Leslie matrix with matrices. And so this is actually a pretty simple uh, procedure if you know how to do the matrix operations for your uh, graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have a situation of uh, we have our age groups, the birth rates, the survival rates. And I believe in my last video, <clears throat> we were dealing with rats. Okay, remember that all this information will be given to you, the birth rate, the survival rate, as well as the age, um, but also remember that um, there's always going to be the population, and I didn't put the population, so let me just go and add that. I believe it was 10, 10, 10, and lastly 10. I think that's what we did. Okay, maybe a little off, but I think that's the majority of what we did. So we have a total of 40 rats. Okay, now what makes this different than what we did last time is last time we individually multiplied the um, the population of one age group by the birth rate and then we multiplied by the survival rate and added everything we got, which is a pretty lengthy procedure. So we're going to actually do this all with matrices. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this information here and I'm going to put that into one matrix. And then I'm going to take the birth rate and survival rate, and I'm going to put that in another matrix, okay? So everything that is yellow is going in, ma in a matrix. Everything is green that is going into one matrix. So let's go ahead and put the population into a matrix, okay? So when I put the population into a matrix, I'm going to put it in the exact way it's written. Notice how it goes down like this. I'm going to write it like this. And this is going to be put in a row col or a row matrix. So it's going to be 10, 10, 10, one more 10, I believe, 0, and 0. Now remember that each column stands for the same thing as it would in the picture or in the uh, table that is. So like remember this represents the number of babies 0 to 3 months, this represents 3 to 6 months, so on and so forth. Okay? So that's our first uh, matrix here. Now I'm putting some labels on here just just so you understand. You don't have to do this every single time, but, but just so you know that each column represents each age group. So if I was to ask you what is the dimensions of this matrix? Let's see, that would be a one by one, two, three, four, five, six, a one by six, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this matrix and you are going to multiply it by the birth rate and the survival rate. Now, going back to what we learned about, um, about multiplying matrices. Now, this matrix here would be first, and remember that the middle numbers have to match. So if that's a six, that has got to be a six. And another thing about this matrix, the birth rate and survival rate, is it's also going to be a square matrix. So it's going to be a square matrix, the dimensions will be the same, and it's going to be a 6 by 6 matrix. So I'm going to create a matrix here that is going to be a 6 by 6. So I'm going to try to do this with the remaining room that I have. Okay, so it's going to be a 6 by 6, and we're going to call this the Leslie matrix. And I forgot to mention this, but this first row matrix we created, we're going to call this the P matrix, which represents the population, okay? And we're actually going to put a zero right down here because the zero represents, that is our starting matrix. So let's go ahead and put all this information, the birth rate and survival rate in our Leslie matrix. The first column of the Leslie matrix is exactly the same as the first column of what would be our Leslie matrix. So that would be zero. 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.4, and lastly 0. Notice that the birth rate represents the um, first column of my Le Leslie matrix. Now my survival rate is actually going to be written in kind of a weird way where I'm going to start at the very first column with 0 0.6, or the first row that is, and then I'm actually going to go down as a diagonal. So that'd be 0 0.9, 0 0.9 again, and 0 0.8, 
and lastly 0 0.6. Now you might be saying what happened to the zero? We cut it short here. Well that zero technically since the survival rate is zero you pretty much just cut it off. So you don't e pay attention to this last uh, zero. So what's going to happen with all this extra spaces, all these extra elements, then they're just going to they're just going to be zeros because we're going to make zeros for everything. Zero, zero, zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so I can do that so we don't waste time. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in the zeros, and that's what it looks like. And that actually, believe it or not, looks very confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another slide where I typed everything in in an actual chart format. So we're about to change it right now. There it is. So here's what we have. This is our Leslie matrix. Notice that I uh, just put in a different format here. So let me just kind of make sure you guys are following along with me. Remember that the way it's all set up is that we have the birth rate, which is right here. And then we have the survival rate that is written as a decimal. Okay, so once again, we're going to call this the P matrix, and I left this different because this was a different uh, problem, and this is the L matrix, all right? Now, what we're going to do is, rather than actually individually multiplying everything, we are going to use a matrix, and we are going to multiply our two matrices together, okay? So I'm going to take my first population matrix, P, and multiply it by... And now remember, this is my PO matrix. I should have wrote that here, sorry. And I'm going to multiply it by my Leslie matrix. And what's it going to do is it's going to give me my answers after the first uh, after the first cycle. So let me go ahead and pause that to get that information. You'll be doing that with your graphing calculator, and we'll see if we get the same answer. So when I multiply these two matrices together, my answer is... 18, 6, 9, 9, 8, and 0. Now, just so you could remember how everything's set up, remember this first is the babies. So those are the, I'm sorry, 0 to 3 months. So that's 0 to 3 months. That's 3 to 6, and then 6 to 9. And what it does, it already puts all this information in, um, in columns that says, okay, how many babies were born? Remember that question I asked you? Well, that would be, well, 18 babies were born, okay? Or how many survivors? Well, if I, if I want to know how many survivors, then I would find column two all the way over and add this up. So this represents the survivors. This first column represents the babies. And then lastly, all the columns added together would give me my total population, okay? Now, you might be asking yourself, well, Coach Ford, I can just simply multiply this very simply uh, by hand without my graphing calculator and everything would be fine. Well, I would say, yes, you're correct, but what if I wanted to know what would happen after the fifth cycle? So what would be my results after the, uh, or after cycle five? Well, you would be multiplying it five different times, which gets a little old after a while, or what you can do is take your initial PO matrix, P0 that is, take your Leslie matrix and then raise it to the fifth power. Okay, so when you do that, you're you pretty much save yourself multiplying all this by hand five times over, and then it'll automatically give you your population totals after the fifth cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so in my calculator, I'm going to go ahead and raise it to the fifth power to see what my answers are. So I went ahead and multiplied everything, and that's all the information that I get. So after the fifth cycle, once again, how many babies were born in the fifth cycle? Well, it would be 18.6. Well, what if I asked, okay, how many sur actually survived the fifth cycle? Well, then I would add all this information up. And then lastly, the total population is I would add all the columns up. So this is a quick, easy way to go ahead and get all your information without having to multiply the entire Leslie model again and again and again. And of course, whatever you raise it to represents whatever power you want to uh, or whatever cycle you want. So if I wanted to figure out, hey, what would be the uh, 10th cycle? Once again, the 10th cycle very simply, and I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to show it to you. I would take my initial matrix, which is PO, multiply it by the Leslie matrix raised to the 10th power, and then get my answer.
and then obviously record your results. but if you have any questions, let me know.